simplify subject pharmacology and i'm here to tell you actually how are you going to simplify this subject please do not panic with the subject pharmacology do remember that every time that you are going to read the subject try to correlate it clinically i always ask you to follow the fragmentation technique what is fragmentation technique kya pharmacology ek bahut hi difficult subject hai for second year students pharmacology subjects ka naam as you hear the word many students feel the shivers down the spine as they hear the name of the subject but believe me it does not has to go this way Hi guys, I'm Dr. Siraj Ahmed, the Faculty of Pharmacology, and I'm here to simplify subject pharmacology. And I'm here to tell you actually how are you going to simplify this subject along with me in your second year. First and foremost, please do not panic with the subject pharmacology. It's like that वो uh, girlfriend जो कि दूर से देखने में अच्छी लगती है उसके बड़े सारे फायदे नजर आते हैं लेकिन आप डर के मारे उसको पूछते नहीं. You don't ask whether you would like to go uh, with me for a coffee or not. when you don't ask she don't say yes or no when she don't say yes or no all you see or all you do is see and imagine everything about her so what you have to do is stop imagining things stop just thinking what if i go what if i say uh, this and what if she will say no 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 don't imagine listen to me what i'm saying rather than imagining things Try go and ask her out. Ask her out means एक बार पढ़ने की कोशिश करिए Try to study once. But मैं आपको बता रहा हूं ये वो गर्लफ्रेंड है जो जल्दी मानने वाली नहीं है मतलब एक बार पूछोगे शी माइट से नो आई एम बिजी सो यू हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट आस्क हर अगेन राइट शी माइट से यस ऑन द सेकंड टाइम मे बी नॉट सेकंड एंड थर्ड टाइम बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट रिवाइज इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स ऑन वन गो ट्राई टू रिवाइज इट अगेन लेट मी जस्ट Tell you some of the important tips and tricks that I usually tell to my students. First and foremost, remember, guys, this subject is not for you to memorize, mugging up. Try to understand. When you understand the drugs with the mechanism of action, their uses, their side effect, you will be able to remember it for longer time. And do remember that every time that you are going to read the subject, try to correlate it clinically. For example, if you are reading, let's say, a drug that is causing mydriasis in the eyes, right? So eye drop when you do, uh, when you instill the eye drop, it will be causing mydriasis. So try to think which type of patient will be benefited. Someone who require, let's say, fundoscopy, someone where the entire retina needs to be studied, right? So in that case scenario, you imagine a patient that you are going to give the drug and mydriasis ho gaya. Then you are going to see this. सब ऑल ड्रग्स दैट आर कमिंग ड्रग्स का जो नेम है उसको मेमोराइज करने के लिए वी आर देयर वी आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ आवर स्टोरीज विद द हेल्प ऑफ आवर निमोनिक्स राइट फॉर एग्जांपल माय ड्रैटिक एजेंट आई यूज्ड टू से इन माय क्लास दैट हु इज द बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस हु इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल आईज ऑल द स्टूडेंट विल से ऐश्वर्या ऐश्वर्या एंड आई से दैट्स इट ऐश सीटी ऐश्वर्या की आंखों की सीटी इफ यू वांट टू नो द ब्यूटी ऑफ आर आई लेट्स डू अ सीटी ऐश सीटी एट्रोपिन इसको बोला मीन होम एट्रोपिन साइक्लोपेंडल एट्रोपिका मेट दैट्स इट आई हैव अरेंज दिस इन अ वे ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टी हाफ लाइफ व्हेन यू विल वॉच द लेक्चर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू हियर राइट second what you can do is you are going to build a study framework every topic that you are going to read try to see that you will not remember everything but at least you have to know some of the important things when you read the drugs see most of the drug their mechanism of action somehow or their uses are there in the drugs which we usually break it out during our classes right so try to know the drug their class kaun se class mein aa rahe hai i for example are they uh, anticholinergic cholinergic are they टेकी कार्डिया कॉजिंग ड्रग बैडी कार्डिया कॉजिंग ड्रग बेसिक बेसिक अगर आपको आता है देन द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट देयर यूजेस साइड इफेक्ट एंड देयर पॉसिबल इंटरेक्शन देखिए पॉसिबल इंटरेक्शन वाले टॉपिक बहुत सारे बच्चे नहीं पढ़ते हैं लेकिन ज्यादातर क्वेश्चन वहां से उठ के आते हैं स्पेशली इन द एमसीक्यू बट इफ यू आर वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दोज आर ट्राइंग टू स्टडी फॉर सेकेंड प्रॉप डू रिमेंबर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग का यूजेस साइड इफेक्ट and their possible interaction should be very very important and whenever you read this try to study this according to your examination examination pattern jaise ki aap apne purane um teen char saal ke paper utha lijiye aapki har university mein exam hue honge try to take the 3 4 year question paper of your university examination and see what type of questions are being asked and whenever we take the lecture whenever we teach you try to see ki whether the lecture that we have taken uh, is it enough to you know enough for you to write the answer of the question or not you will realize you are able to write it out very very beautifully all you have to do is try to keep the paper try to attend the lecture revise it and see whether you are able to answer those 
questions or not and every time you read this remember always that your pharma has now become clinical pharmacology so integration with the clinicals is very very important every topic you read for example a hypertension to so always imagine you know at the back of your mind there should be a patient of hypertension coming with this particular blood pressure when i give the drug let us say i am going to give ac inhibitor where is it working so we actually draw pura ras system ka ek pathway and you see that in that ras system where is the drug ac inhibitor is working if it is inhibiting uh, conversion of angiotensin 1 to 2 what is actually going to happen if there is no angiotensin 2 there is no vasoconstriction that is how it is going to help you in the uh, you know hypertension so you have to keep a patient at the back of your mind and that's what exactly we do in our classes we always talk about a patient and remember clinical integration is always going to be the king part of your entire preparation so remember what i said i said understand don't try to mug up build your study framework in the order that i have told you already and you target your examination for that you have to keep a previous year question paper along with the lectures that we are actually taking and clinical correlation is always going to play a very pivotal role in your entire preparation last but not the least few important tips that i am going to tell to all of you guys that you have to start early start early means second year mein hai abhi agar pharma aapne kar liya believe me you are going to enjoy your entire life with this in formation because when you are in first year you will be taught about anatomy physiology biochemistry anatomy the normal structure physiology the normal function biochemistry what's happening at the cellular level in pathology they will be teaching about the pathophysiology pathology of the disease in micro the microbes in medicine in coming across when you go to the final year you will be taught about medicine you know how to diagnose what are the criteria what are the diagnostic skills that you are going to you know order so everything about that you will be studying in medicine but cutting the long story short what will you prescribe to your patient will be taught to you during pharmacology so believe me your concept will be at a whole different level if you have very good hold on the pharmacology i can assure you with my expertise that i am going to make pharmacology for all of you guys in the upcoming nischay batch so you have to start early make your own notes although pdf will be provided to all of you guys but believe me believe me if you make your own notes you will never regret that listen to me what i'm saying make your own notes and try to uh, keep at the end of uh, every chapter or the topic will be keeping you like the visuals the flow charts try to make that for yourself as well so that you can revise and uh, uh, you know memorize for the very last minute as well you have to keep yourself in the subject ka loop mein every now and then for example let's say i'm going to take a two hour lecture every day a uh, two hour lecture will be there so after two hour lecture don't just close the lecture and go maybe you can close the you tab your phone after the lecture you go for dinner and after that when you come back make sure that you revise at least 45 minutes see pharmacology is a very big subject you are not expected to remember everything that is coming in the textbook or in the notes but at least you will remember the basic stuff that i am telling to all of you guys if something is very big something is very difficult i always ask you to follow the fragmentation technique what is fragmentation technique something big you divide it into small fragments so let's say there is a general pharmacology that is a very big chapter autonomic nervous system cardiovascular system central nervous system these are big chapters but when we will discuss see weekly there will be only two classes two hours two hours so in one class let's say i am going to discuss clinical trial and in other class i am going to discuss pharmacokinetic let's say absorption so for that day you will only have to read absorption and anything that could be possibly correlated clinically about absorption will be discussed to you in the class all you have to do attend the class make your notes and try to revise it after the class that's it if you follow this simple step that i that i have just told you not only your pharmacology will be strong but your entire clinical uh, you know uh, base will be very very strong for your entire mbbs and also for your upcoming medical journey follow this is simple step and make sure that your pharma become one of the best subject in the entire 19 subject of mbbs see you all in class all the very best